I've been wanting to say a few words about Gil. Gil is an Oxidorus Niger, about three and a half feet, and uh, 32 years old. We got him as a rescue in 2015 at 25 years old. Today is 2022. The story of Gil is that uh, he was raised in, um, in a 180 gallon tank, 6 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet, and he spent in that tank 25 years, and there were a bunch of other cichlids in there. And when we got him out of the tank, he was 34 inches, just two inches shy of three feet. He could not turn around there too well. I mean, it took an effort. He had to go up or at an angle to turn around. The people that had him, they, they really loved him and they were uh, nice lovely people but they, they just didn't know any better that uh, it took him a long time to realize that uh, most likely Gil is not happy in that little tank not to mention the tank usually read sometime some uh, amount of ammonia from quarter to half a ppm they showed me the records for like 25 years As you can see, Gil has a very, very high back, and this is because it had nowhere to grow in that tank. So instead of growing lengthwise, he's been growing uh, heightwise, and that's why its cranial shield is so abnormally, so freakishly tall. You can compare it to the normal Oxidolos Niger on the right, and you can see how much taller Gill's proportions are. This is currently our uh, probably, not probably, but the oldest fish we've ever had. 32 years. So he was bought in uh, around 1990. He's had a bit of a trouble here in our tank as well. Nothing was perfect. For a while we had in this tank Zazula, the Jiao catfish. And everything has been fine until one day Zazula decided to break off one of, the gill, one of Gill's pectoral spines on the left fin, pectoral fin just broke it off. Ever since then Zazula went to the other 4500 4, gallon tank to live with another Jao catfish, Zizi. We were trying to avoid ho homing uh, two Jao catfish together but it became unavoidable. Actually it's, it's the right hand, this one, this the leading ray of that pectoral fin has been broken off. It took a very long time for Gil to grow it back and it didn't grow back the full length and it's still a little bit crooked. Gil still, still has undersized tail on the caudal peduncle for its size. Again, if you compare his, the size of his tail 
and the angle and the uh, overall position of the tail and the peduncle. This is the normal Oxidorus niger that we raise in our tank from about a foot. This is also a rescue from about um, about the same time, 2015, 2017. I'm in 2016, so that's also um, a seven-year-old Oxidorus niger, also about three and a half feet. But of course, Gil Gil looks next to this fish. Gil looks older and bigger and thicker. He's got a lot of the tail back in this tank. When we got him out, his tail was relatively smaller relative to the body length. He didn't swim much at first. He, did, he didn't realize he's got so much more space. Having gone from six by two by two to 13 by 13 by four and a half. His prior uh, owners still come over once in a while and visit him, which is nice, and hand feed him. He likes pellets the most. If he could fill up on the pellets, he didn't. He wouldn't want anything else. But when he doesn't fill up on the pellets, he takes fish as well, pieces or whole. Well, that's the story of our little gill. Thank you for watching.